What's up? You know what it is. Hot 97 Hip Hop Mike in the building with a special guest that came all the way from Atlanta. All the way from the A, man. Stone Mountain, Georgia, <laughs> EA. What's up, man? He almost got in trouble up here for smoking a little clippy. So a little out of the element. <laughs> but when it comes to the music, he good everywhere in the world. Yes, sir. Buddha bless this beat in the building. What's up, man? Buddha bless this beat in the building. BU yeah. Entertainment. We got a tune, UFO tune in here, man. UFO! We in here working, man. Let's you do it. already know it. Man. Welcome to New York City, my shout brother. Out, shout out my PR, Alicia Gooding, man. She going crazy Always. out here, man. Shout out my PR, man. Got you. <laughs> nah, me and Alicia go back for a minute. When she hit me, she's like, yo, I got some artists in town. I got some producers. I'm like, all right, what you got? She never comes like with anything that's not moving. Yeah, like, nah. <laughs> she, I met Alicia when we did the, the Culture 2 run. My Culture okay. 2 came out. And we the first day I did my first little New York run, and now we 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 back. I'm on the um, I call this the um the Got Money Get Famous tour, man, because I got money, <laughs> but I ain't famous like I need to be. So it's the Got Money Get Famous tour. We, well, we started to release. We gonna talk about all that, including culture too. But I want to take them all the way back because when I start doing research for interview, I try and dig into like you know where the artist is from, how they got started, mm -hmm. and I came across a video that was you kind of talking about your roots of growing up, you know, going to church mm -hmm. and sitting behind the organ player. Yeah. Um, that's really how, uh, to my introduction to um, being a creative or being a musician started. But um, I used to, me and my brother, he used to sit behind the drummer. I used to sit behind the, uh, and then um, from then I learned how to play the keys. And then from there, my aunt got married to a producer. Okay. Um, I don't know if y'all know uh, A+. Plus. He used to be old, yeah. old right back in the day. Of uh, course. Last Key Child. <laughs> He, my uncle, used to make his records that were signed to him. Yo, it's so crazy because when we spoke about Hempstead, the first name that always comes up in my head is A+. Plus yeah, 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 he put that, on. He, yo, he put on for Hempstead. Hempstead for High Project was insane. People sleep on that, but nah, that project no was crazy. He put on for Hempstead. <laughs> but um, that was my introduction to actual music production. And I started making beats from there. And, I, and ever since from there, I just took it into my own thing. Okay. But my uncles, well, I always stay with, I always stay with me and A+. Plus, like, he like, he, actually, he's supposed to link up with us. Like, he's supposed to be up here right now. But, really? Yeah, but he, you know, trains, you know, he, he's still out there in Long Island. So, I used to be in a group home in Long Island. I would listen to A-plus all the time. So, definitely tell A-plus I'm a big fan of that Hempstead nah, High nah, Project. No, no, bro. You'll probably meet him sometime soon if he if he come up here soon. Because he, I definitely gave him the address. So, your uncle produced a lot of... Yeah, the Smith Brothers. Okay. Yeah, they did a lot of Greg Kwan stuff, too. But, um, just watching them. He had a Fruity Louise at, um, it was Thanksgiving. And he was just, you know, all the food being cooked. He just on his computer, you know, on the Fruity Loop, just doing whatever he did. And I'm just watching him, like, what the hell is he doing? And he was just like, yo, I'm making beats, and, you know, woo, woo, woo. and I already knew how to play the keys. Okay. So when it came time to make everything um, come full circle, it was really easy to do. So was production always, like, the vision, or did you want to just be, like, a musician in general? Nah, see, I, I ain't gonna lie. When I was growing up, I used to want to be, um, not everybody want to play ball, but as far as music, mm -hmm. I wanted to be a church musician. Cause it was like I'm playing the keyboard and church musicians, like especially at mega churches like New Birth, they supposed to get paid like sixty, seven thousand dollars a year to be with their pastor. You know what I'm saying? It's like mm -hmm. it's a job. You know what I'm saying? So I looked at it as, dang, I could play, I could play the piano and just like see, it's so easy to hold a church service. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I wanted to get paid. But now you taking people to a whole different type of church. Man, look, man, right, man. <laughs> Church check ain't the same, and it's check. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I love the Lord. I love the Lord. So another, another thing I did when I was looking into your, your credits, I, I went to the Discogs. It's just page after page. Each page got like 25, 30 records. You got 28 there dating back to 2013. That's a whole lot of placements, and I know they don't got every one of them. Yeah. See, um, <laughs> a lot of them, though, uh, will be placements that's... um. It'll be like 13 is when I started getting on the map. I you know, had the Cool America records. Yep. Me and Dave started getting in. Uh, Flocka, we had little stuff like that going. But 2016 is when it really hit for him. Um, like when it hit for him. Um, is that the 2 chains placement? The 2 chains and Drake. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Everything, you got, you got your little bubble in the street. You know, you're like, okay, booty, go hard. But you know, when you got that record, that, you know, that life changing record. When that, mm -hmm. when that, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> what are you talking about, dude? You know what I'm saying? When that big amount dropped, it just it changed everybody. Like it changed everybody around me. Like yeah. So how do you link up with Chains to begin with? Is that an Atlanta connection or how did you um, come across that? Come the from beats? working the streets of Atlanta, man. Like them streets of Atlanta is the streets. Like um, it come from really the relationship. My relationship with Two Chains came from a long time, like a long lingering relationship that I had with Strap the Fool from Travis Porter. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like they was all signed to the same management. Yeah, I wouldn't even assume that they had the same relationship. Yeah, they, they like got that. the same management. Uh, Travis Porter and, and Two Chains. Travis Porter was pop now. Don't, don't sleep with my boys. You're not. Boy. Travis they, serious. They was going crazy back then. But Chains was the second artist coming up on their <laughs> label. 
but so when he came in, you know, he just, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So I already had the relationship through his DJ, Issa, because Issa <laughs> used to DJ Travis Porter stuff, all the Street Exec stuff anyway. So by the time when Chains came in, I'm like, hey, man, I'm trying to get the bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and he just walked me in, and and um, Drake came, like, probably five five months later, because I dropped the beats off, but I didn't hear about Drake being on it till like, five, six months yeah, after. Yeah, I was going to say, was Drake involved off rip, or did that come nah, on? Nah, Two Chains had a... No, shout out Nolan, man. Shout out Nolan Presley. <laughs> um, two Chains engineer, the little white boy, man. He is going crazy. Man, all y'all people on Two Chains album, he is the reason. <laughs> but he, um, he pulled up. Drake was in town for the Summer 16 tour, and he just pulled up records. He was just like, Drake just was listening to everything, you know, what Chains had open verse to. He was like... I don't do that one. <laughs> that big mouth. Yeah, yeah, I don't do that one. It hey, literally went like that. Was you there when he picked nope, the No, I wasn't there. I got the car pissed me off, too. I got the call the next day. <laughs> I was I'm at say. the house. I'm at the house. I'm chilling, rolling up. We <laughs> just, just at the house, man, just being regular, just being niggas. just regular, and it's like... Shout out to Drake. Shout out to Drake, <laughs> man, for real. At, at the for time real. you got the call, did you have any, like, you know, expectations with the record to just come out through chains? Did you know if, what was happening with the record? Because a lot of times, you know, people do records and they just go on a stash and don't get seen again. See, nah, they, they caught me. Okay. See, um, Series X, they caught me. I knew there was, it's chains in a Drake record. If it was a Drake record with chains <laughs> on it, then it might be like, I don't know, he might hold it, depending on what Drake want to do, got but you. I'm not finna hold a Drake feature like that. Yeah, yeah chains want to release records. And only thing I didn't like is when the song came out, it didn't have a hook. <laughs> like, all they said was, I got a big amount in the beginning of their verses, and that was it, and they just spit. Oh, wow. So when it, I heard it, I'm like, where the hook at? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I went to chains, I'm like, hey, bro, you need to put Drake on the hook. We ain't got nothing. He was like, yeah, all right. <laughs> Then he, you know, a couple weeks by, he like, nah, I like it how it is, man. I was so mad. Yeah. Oh, so I didn't feel like the record was going to do what it was supposed to do without a hook. Like, we need that champ part where everybody could just, but he still did what he did, man. Them folks went crazy on that shit. Shout out to Drake, man, the Drake effect, man. <laughs> what? So does that happen often where somebody, you going to give them feedback, they just go with what they want to go with, or how collaborative that are, are these projects? every day. <laughs> At this point, man, I didn't got. I didn't start getting so opinionated. Yeah, I used to be like, "Oh my God, the engineer could have turned this up the little clay." To, like I used to get so like, "Dang, a bro would have did this or a bro would have did that." Have there ever yeah. been a time where you're like, "Absolutely not!" Like I'm not letting this come out unless we tweak this part or that part. No. <laughs> so ultimately, you let the artist do no, what the artist do. I got The thing is, is, um, I used to be this headstrong, creative person to where, um. Or I just knew it was gonna go, or I knew the hit, or I knew if this happened, it'll be a hit. Until Big Amount came, cause out of all the beats I sent, bro, it was like, damn, you use this. One? <laughs> like I'm in my head, like, dang it, bro, would you use that one? Or it's pretty simple too, not not for nothing. Yeah, he's like, I got this big orchestrator stuff where I got strings <laughs> dropping here and that, and they chose that. You know what I'm saying? It's been times where I sent the beat pack, and they be like, yeah, we use this, and I'm like. It made me let, realize it's not all about what my ears, it's about the masses. Yeah, they just got to feel it. It's like like we said about this interview, whatever's organic, mm -hmm. it's going to go. Yeah. Um. This morning, I was listening to a Spotify playlist called Buddha Bless These Beats, mm -hmm. right? And it's basically just oh. a list of all the beats, you know, mm -hmm. most of the beats. Not, I, I shouldn't even say most of because I know you probably got trillions in the stash. Yeah, yeah, I got a little, a little some. A lot of the hot ones that's out. And I got to the beat that you did with Travis. That was the Otis Redding sample. Mm -hmm. I end up listening to Mad Otis Redding on the way here. Because oh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. I heard all your there. songs. I go back. I'm like, oh, okay, this was inspiring it. Yeah. Is Otis Redding like somebody that super inspired you? I mean, obviously for that particular I'll be real beat. With you. But... I'll be real with you. Kanye West is super inspiring. To me. All right. You know how he did the Otis Redding with the record with yeah, Jay-Z yeah. and all that? Um I I I I go to um I always go to the discography like not discography but like the credits of albums mm -hmm. and you know you see Kanye produce or anybody produce it but I always used to look up sample um and credits for samples and you know of course I want to go sample the same record so I go sample the same artist to hear their vibes and see what they got going on and like modern slavery is is one of my best Kanye West personations that I got <laughs> I start out you. start out with the sample you know how Otis um. He makes it easier. Yeah. Either with Jay-Z, same shit. <laughs> Not started, like you left it alone, I too. I left it alone and then brought my chops in and did what I did with it. Hey, shout out Kanye, man. <laughs> Should have got a holiday. Yeah, I got, yeah. I got a, a credit with Kanye, too. On, um, I ended up getting one 
with, um, on Bad Bitches Only on Migos Culture 2. Oh, shit. Yeah, Kanye got a crayon. I still ain't meet him yet. I still ain't meet <laughs> you now yet, yet, yet. Yo, I'm Kanye, gonna, if you I'm watching meet you, this, this man look up to you. You definitely got to link up with nah, him. Nah, come on, man. We already getting money together. It's, it's a check that's been cut with both our names on it. <laughs> oh, you know what I'm saying? Oh, oh God. Yo, you know what I'm saying? I've kind of met Kanye like twice, but not not even on some like, yo, what's up? Nice to meet you. On some just like, I, I caught eye contact with him across the room. He just stared at me. Yes. <laughs> just stared. Hey, shout out and Quavo, I, man. <laughs> shout, out, shout out Huncho, man. He the one who, yeah. So he, how, put, he put a lot of stuff together for me. How'd you link up with Amigos and, and end up on his culture too and, you know, running around with these guys? Um, At the big amount came. A lot of stuff. The thing is, when you got a big record like that, <laughs> you got to flooded. You gotta play on it, though. Like, a lot of people will get weird or cool or content. But Takeoff followed me on Twitter. Like, randomly. My Twitter whack, by the way. He's still <laughs> whack. You know what I'm saying? He followed me on Twitter, like, and, I, and I've been sending beats through them through... Um, through real money, through their manager. Okay. I don't know if they got it or whatever. So, so I just hit him. I said, hey, bro, you got them beats? Um, I don't know. Send them through. So I sent them. Three weeks later, call casting came out uh, on Culture One. That's the video wild. in Africa. Remember they went to Africa, to Lagos, and Nigeria? That was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, because just the matrix of getting beats to the Migos, let alone to have a placement with them, is crazy. Yeah, yeah. See, but ever since then, though, like, it wasn't even, that wasn't even enough. See, um, where he went to? It was, uh... It was P had a birthday party at Go Room. Okay. Him. This man is man. Man, I love this man. I swear to God, he gonna get a piece of every check I get. <laughs> Walked up to him, cause I'm not the person like once we get to talking, I can tell you everything. Yeah. But to walk up to you and be like, yo, I'm I'm Nah, I'm, that's what management for. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he walked him, hey bro, this boo blessed me, he made car cast the woo-woo. And Quavo was finna walk, he was like, yeah, you know. Hey bro, you hard, bro. Like, <laughs> like, hey, he came back and he showed that love, and ever since then, um, me and Quavo been like, like Synced up. Like, at the crib, <laughs> smoking weed, making music, out of town. Like, like we got a in fact, we got something real big coming to I ain't going to spoil it, but we got something real big. Buddha Hanto got something really big coming. It's coming soon. So when it comes to working with artists, how do you decide who's going to get beats, who deserves, you know, that, that blessing? Because at the end of the day, I know there's a lot of big artists out here that I'm sure just want the beats, but maybe they vibe ain't right or something like that. Do you work with people based on like kind of what their stature is and what they've been doing? Or? Nah, I I don't I don't. Um, I got to a point when like when Big Amount was blowing up, I got I did, I did get to that point where I was doing that like, oh well I'm need you know, but you can't do that man. You gotta look for the next. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You gotta look for the next. Yeah. Thing. That was my next question. How did you link oh, up with God. the guy that's right next to you now? See now him, it's like family. Okay. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like when back when we was broke on the street. You know what I'm saying? In Atlanta. Yeah. This is his cousin, like little cousin. Yeah. And I'm we um recording this dude, recording that dude, doing video for this dude, doing, you know what I'm talking about? Artists, different artists, like not him. He just a little you know what I'm saying, playing the cut. You know what I'm saying? Watching everything. You know what I'm saying? Playing the cut. And then um till it got to one day and he was down there recording it with Jabs. Shout out, hit him with Jabs too. And one day he really he recording with Jabs, and I'm just like, I looked at him, I said, hey bro. Lil' brother one, but we put money behind it, but we might be just being in a circle, little brother one. And and now me and him feel comfortable. Like we gonna we but we putting our bag behind it. We putting our own. We got a couple of labels, but they, they trying to fuck us. So what what is it about you being a one? Like what do you think makes you that guy? Is it the music? Is nah, it just I'm the vibe? Just, everything is it's me. It ain't nothing nobody else like me. Tell me. It ain't, it's mm-hmm. just my energy, how I put what I say on records, where I come from, what I do. Tell you. So it's just <laughs> everything really real. That's how I see it. it ain't, it's not like I'm trying hard except my music. You know what I'm saying? I try hard. And let me music. say this. You know y'all rappers that be like, man, everything I say real, man. I come street, everything <laughs> real. I don't give a damn, bro. I don't no. gotta sound good, bro. That's it. Like, I don't That's care if like. A lot of niggas like it's fake. There's niggas who in there who not in the street, not doing it, but sounding good and making hit records. Like just because you about that or whatever, you're a smacking nigga, you're a shooting nigga, don't mean your record sound good. I know, bro. I seen bro slack and you know what I'm saying, did some shit and still can rap a record and it sound good. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I like about bro. Like he rap right. records and he really got. It's not somebody we just force like. I met you when you was what? I met you when I was... I'm 27. I met you when right. I was 19, 20. Right. So, so y'all go back eight. a little bit. Yeah, he right. was young. He was already the youngest person in the group, but right. that's an organic build. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and I'm not just stuck on, oh, two chains and Drake, because I know I can get the chains and Drake all the time. 
Well, not Drake. I know I get the chains and Migos. <laughs> Listen, Drake, if you're watching this, this man, man wants... <laughs> no, Drake know what's up, man. I, I met him before, man, but Drake Drake got layers. He like them layers. He yeah. like being that person. Nah, it'd be like that, but not for nothing. I think that goes to complement what you just said. Is like you kind of have to be built for it to, you know, get through those layers. Because a lot of the artists that's just talking to talk, yeah. they only get to a certain point, and then they realize it's not organic. It's yeah. something that's really forced, and right. it just don't connect with the people at the right. end of the day. Like if you're gonna connect with people, you gotta just be relentlessly yourself. Right. <laughs> so I feel that's why I say with them, like they've been watching me for so long. So it's like I ain't have to. I had to push with the music, but they they get it. So it's not like I had to do some extra to to get their attention. Now, look, you, know that really, you know that silly shit that niggas try to do to get niggas like my attention. All y'all funny dudes in my <laughs> inbox. I'm, like, I'm, Buddha. Nah, he I'm brung, next up. I'm the hottest at the city. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, it's a lot of people. It's a lot it's of producers lot. and artists right now that was in my inbox two years ago. That's blown up now. You know what I'm saying? It's like. <laughs> don't take don't take it no way, nobody everybody can't get to you. That's something I need to say to that camera. Yeah, nah, that's right. the truth. Like, I mean, supposed to be feeling some type of way when you just can't stop and do everything. Like that's one thing he never did. He never um he never was like, bro, when I'm a bro when I'm a he mm. never even asked. It nah, was, he brung me in. Yeah, so it's yeah. like you working with Big Amount and then you like yeah, let me work with you. I'm like, well, of course, well, let that's, me do that's, this. That's so. what I'm about right now. I'm about the future. Chain's already rich. Quavo already rich. All these folks already rich. Jermaine Dupri had his artists. He done signed his artists. Thanks. Jay-Z done had his folks. They done signed his folks. Everybody done did their thing. It's my time to do my thing. And I can't be the producer I want until I have an artist blow. Mm -hmm. And this is the guy. This is the guy. Yep. Like, all the, all the like... Every artist got they. Every producer got they artists. Metro had twenty one. Mm -hmm. You know, well, nah, it's true. I, I'm associated with a lot of acts. It's not one. Well, probably the Migos. You probably can say he be with the Migos a lot. But a lot of my stuff, and this is a good thing that I have variety. Okay, Chris Brown, Migos, Drake, uh, Chains. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Travis Scott, Dolph. I got a lot of Dolph. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so a lot of stuff is. It's not like. Nah, mm. but at 27, you just starting to lay the foundation and set the tone. Yeah, it yeah, it yeah, seems yeah. like it's just the beginning. Yeah, definitely. We three years in. It's my third year in the league, man. <laughs> third year in the league, what, man. What's it been like watching him kind of blossom from a dude that was in the street, you know, kind of down on the money to become this super producer that he is today? It's, it's really inspiring, you know what I'm saying? It's more so take it in, look, watch what's going on before, you know what I'm saying, just... Because a lot of people quit to see and then look at your pockets and they just, it's just, I can see it. You know what I'm saying? For somebody I literally just seen from from here to here, yeah, you just got to, mm -hmm. it's, it's inspirational. You know what I'm saying? You just got to, if you want to be that, you want to get to that level of surpass that, you got to just see what they do, watch that, watch what they going through and just be better than that. You know what I'm saying? If you could be better than that and not be exactly like that, that's how you're going to be ahead. I that's feel real. like you got people who want to, be like that person exactly and do what they do and they lose focus of what you're yeah. supposed to be doing. See, I want to be better, you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I want a bigger record than Drake and 2 Chain. I want a bigger record than Dolph and all those guys, the Migos. I want bigger records than that. So that's what I'm working on. And, nah, and you've got the right approach, man. It's just patience and persistence. Just Absorb patience, as, much, you know as much knowledge as you can. Yeah, so. Hey, hold on. I know I'm on live. <laughs> I know we on camera. I got my boy Tune going hot 97 from Atlanta, man. Oh, yeah, I don't what's going on right now, man. All right, man, let's get back to this interview. Nah, man. listen, I had, to, I, had to put, I had to put it, you know, I had to put him in the light. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Quick, I, I didn't ask all the questions I had. Is there anything that you want to leave the city with? I know you're a fan of the station. Man, I want to leave the city with, man. Shout out Long Island. Shout out Hempstead, Long Island. Shout out my pops, Albie. Shout out Marlon. <laughs> he just did that bid. He ain't told. He came home solid. He good in the hood. You feel me? Buddha bless his beat. We got Tune to go. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? We got UFO Tune. Everything we doing right now, BU Entertainment, that's just what I'm about, man. I'm about these big records. Is These big records. I got so many big records in the stash. NBA mm -hmm. Youngboy, Chris Brown, Travis Scott. Who else we got coming? <laughs> Cardi, Playboy Cardi. We got, like, so much records coming. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. That money is there. My house is secured. My everything is secure. I'm worried about the future and, and new shit I got going on and breaking shit. Shit that I can, you know... Fly out of town and be with my artists and, and shows and like that's that, that's a part of my career because I didn't did everything else far as nah but the same way I commend him for his patience and persistence I say the same for you because even looking on the grand man you're not one of these guys with the crazy followings and all that you um, seems hey, like hey look really, let me say this another work. thing too man this is, let me say it's another thing that that all y'all can learn because I ain't no introvert person I can talk I'm great to talk <laughs> I'm just old school I'm just not like hey I'm with two chains and Quavo right now. 
I just don't do that all the time. That's something I gotta do though. It's something you gotta do though to you know validate or. I, I say this though, man. On your gram, it's just placement after placement after placement. Hey, look, it, it's that's way because better than a I selfie. I work the street. <laughs> hey, look, that's way because better. I work the street. Like that's one thing I can say. I did well. We did better than anybody, or better than a lot of producers. Like we worked the street from this placement. And this placement got me this placement. This placement got me this placement. This placement got me this placement. That just come from having a good street name, bro. Good street cred. Not getting in studios and doing funny shit, recording niggas songs and you know, like a lot of producers and engineers do a lot of funny style shit. Yeah. To where they just don't want you to like you, they might have you around to record, but when they call you like, bro, pull up, we playing 2K, bet a thousand on the game. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That different relationship starts. It'd be mixy a little bit. It'd be a different trust mm -hmm. when you know. It'd be a different trust when you, you somebody pull up on you for nothing because playing two K yeah. that's nothing. Well said. You know what I'm saying? So when you you get to that point of relationship, but I just know how to build the relationships without all that cap shit. Man. Right. Nah, real talk. But that's that's the organic nature of it. It's like you know, same same for the way that y'all work together. I got an artist that I'm really close with that I work with. And I need some beats on them too, man. I ain't sleeping on nobody. <laughs> nah, I, well, I'm gonna ask you that later. As far as the beats concerned, what's the perfect way to approach it? But I say this much for the artists I work with. I think what makes us vibe so much is in the beginning, it didn't start out with like, yo, give me this hit, give me this music. We just came up with like, bro, you need to get organized and have a laundry day. Mm -hmm. And just having a laundry day <laughs> and working on that tip is like, okay, now you on schedule. Let's start yeah, setting yeah. up the studio session. <laughs> yeah. And you slowly build, but you learn so much about the person that you could kind of see what placements make sense, what sounds they like, what vibe they like. Yep. And if you develop on that tip, the music is undeniably going to be better. One thing about run. him, he let, he, I keep everything like, he let me do what I want to do. I, and it's like, okay. You know, like, he give me, when he gives the approval, it's like, okay. So that's why I say the shit that I got is like, it's some hits. Because mm -hmm. it's like, okay, I can do whatever I want to do. But once it's the approval from Big Buddha, it's good. One that's thing, how I know it's One thing like, I like about us is he country. Like, it ain't, he's from <laughs> Florida. He's from like Opalaka, Florida. Like, I ain't even heard of that Opalaka. part till I met him. <laughs> Opalaka. It's Opalaka. like Opalaka. Miami right here and Opalaka right there. I ain't even heard it. I drove through it, going to Miami a few times maybe. I don't know, but I ain't even heard it. It's a little small part of Florida. But my my sound, like my natural sound, is so like New York to the core. Like the soul and the, and I put that all with the trap and it makes it makes More than Hempstead, bro. That's different. Come on, like, man. Like not for nothing. You all get some good gospel. You go. You know what, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I see why you got blessed in the name, man. Appreciate you, that. You definitely man. living, living blessed. Appreciate that. Um, you know what? We're gonna wrap this up. I know you got things to do. Mm -hmm. I want to chop it up with this guy too. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Um, you know what it is. Take over the night, hip hop mic. Let him know where to keep up with you at. What's Buddha the best Buddha bless this beat. Buddha B U D D A H not H A. Buddha bless this beat at gmail.com. Uh, UFO Tune One. Um, oh, that's Buddha Blessings be that Instagram UFO Two. It's, it's everything is the same. And he don't really be on Twitter, but you could try it. Yeah, no, nah, you can <laughs> on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? I might see a notification here or there. Shout out Title. I was just talking to Title on Twitter. Oh, I don't word. know who is the. I'm talking Somebody. to Title. I don't know. Who <laughs> Tyler, who the hell Listen, is. Title pays the artist the most. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you know what it is? Hot eighty seven. Shout out Hip Hop Mike.